What is loudness? In heavy metal terms, Loudness was a band from Japan formed in 1981. I remember buying their album Thunder in the East back in the day. And a bit of trivia, they were the first Japanese metal band signed to a US major label, and they went on to release more than two dozen albums. What we're really here to talk about today is a more common usage for loudness, which is as an audio, mastering, audiological, and acoustical term that refers to the perception of sound pressure. Now the key word there is perception. It's important because our ears perceive sound pressure level differently at different frequencies. In other words, the sensitivity of our ears changes with frequency. The unit of loudness is the phon, spelled P-H-O-N. And the interesting thing is that the phon is not an empirical measurement. It's actually based on subjective judgments by listeners of when they think that a pure 1000 Hz tone is equally loud with a reference point. The average result of tests from a large number of people establish a definition of what are called equal loudness curves. There's also another subjective scale of loudness which tries to represent doubling in loudness. So we're given that 40 fonts, which equal 40 decibels, specifically at 1 kilohertz, equal the son, which is spelled S-O-N-E. A tone that listeners judge to be twice as loud would be two sones, three times as loud would be three sones, and so on. The whole idea is that subjective scales like this are more useful than direct measurements for certain purposes because of the way the ear works and the way we perceive sound pressure based on frequency. To confuse the issue even more, pretty much all of us use the terms volume and loudness interchangeably as if they mean the same thing. But technically they don't. In fact, they're quite different. Think of it this way. Volume is an actual measurement of the power of sound. It's an objective measurement. Loudness describes how loud you perceive the sound to be in your brain, and it's a subjective description that's affected by the frequency, duration, and volume of the sound. Here's a test you can do to demonstrate the difference. Play a 1 kHz sine wave through your monitors or headphones. Now play a 10 kHz tone without changing any other settings. If all other things are equal, you'll likely notice that the loudness of the two tones is different, even though you haven't changed the volume. Some of you may have or remember home stereo receivers or amplifiers that had loudness controls. The idea with these controls was that they would boost the high and the low frequencies when the amp was set to low volume levels. This was so the perception of those frequencies remained consistent when you turn the volume up and down. So once again, we're dealing with the subjective response of the ear and the brain based on frequency. So what does all this mean or matter in the real world? There are some situations, such as when mastering for broadcast or other applications, where it's important to understand the distinct definition of loudness. But for most casual, non-techie conversations, most people will understand perfectly well what you mean if you interchange volume for loudness and vice versa. If you want to learn more about audio concepts like this, visit the news and research page at sweetwater.com or check out the other videos in our Glossary Terms playlist.